Hi, my name is Eric Martin, and today we'll be looking at a few tips for using SOLIDWORKS, especially when you start off using SOLIDWORKS. The first thing I will say is that my mouse pointer does not always show up during a video recording session, so I will mark the location by pressing a button on my keyboard, the control button, and we can see where it's pointing. So we're going to open up a new model in SOLIDWORKS by clicking on this new file and then we're going to select part if it's not already selected and then OK. Now one of the first steps that we do when making a solid model is using the sketch command and so here we have the sketch command and I'm going to go ahead and depress that and what we see here is our three planes, our front plane, top plane and right plane now we can turn our planes on and off or show them by viewing our planes and we can see our planes and we can see and hide our planes the other thing that we can do too I'm going to exit the sketch and we see here we have front plane, top plane and right plane and again I'm going to right click and then we can also come here and um, hide and show our planes by pressing the sunglasses or the glasses button. But what we want to do today is we want to create a shortcut on showing those planes whenever we desire to. So I'm going to come up here, uh, depress the button on our menu bar, and go into Customize. Now this is the uh, the box that can change SOLIDWORKS to suit your needs. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to come into Keyboard and we're going to search for a new command or search for an existing command I should say. And the command will be plane or planes and we can see it right here. And I'm going to come here under Shortcuts and give it a new shortcut key which is going to be the letter P. Does it matter if it's capitalized or lowercase? I believe it it always shows up as capitalized. So we see we have P right here. I'm going to hit OK down here. Now we've went ahead and changed our shortcut to P, but whenever I hit P, nothing seems to happen. The reason for that is because my planes here on the left hand side aren't really turned on. And so I'm going to right click, I'm going to show each one of them right click on the icon, click the eyeglasses to show them, right click and then click show and notice that all my planes are all shown. Now when I hit P, my planes turn on and off. And so that's what I want. If, um, if your planes aren't on by default here, you can go ahead and change a template in your part file, your drawing file and um, your assembly file. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the sketch button and at the top left corner and now I got a message that says select a plane on which to create a sketch for the entity and we can choose any of our planes. We have three planes shown and as I hover around different planes get highlighted. I'm going to choose our front plane notice how it rotates towards us when I select the front plane and that would be the case with any of the planes I choose uh, the first time SOLIDWORKS uh, chooses a sketch plane uh, for each session the uh, plane uh, rotates so it's normal to you now I'm going to click corner rectangle and I'm just going to create a rectangle somewhere in this area I click once and then click again and there's my rectangle and now I'm going to come to the top left I'm going to close the dialog box click on feature tab and then I'm going to click extrude boss base and notice how my screen rotates to a uh, trimetric view and um, it has a default of 0.1 inch we'll make it a little bit larger than that we'll call it 1 inch and then there we can see is being updated um, I can accept it 
and then here is my block that I just created. And notice I have the right plane, top plane, and front plane uh, showing. I don't want them showing anymore, so I'm going to click P on my keyboard, and now those planes have gone away. Now, my next step is I want to create a circular box boss pointing uh, from this surface and pointing upward, and I'm going to click on my sketch tab, click on the circle. Now once again it's asking me to select a plane. I can select either the front, top, or right surface. I'm going to click on P to show my planes. I can also click my right plane, top plane, uh, front plane, or any other plane that I may have created. I'm going to click P again. I want to choose my top plane and I just selected my top plane and now it's asking me for uh, to make my circle so I'm going to create my circle here but before I finish my circle notice how my plane didn't rotate toward me and that's really what I wanted it to do and so I'm going to finish the circle but I'm going to come here to the top right I'm going to cancel that sketch it's going to ask me if I want to discard my changes and I'm going to click yes discard my changes my mouse is just here somewhere in open space and when I right click my mouse I'm right clicking and holding right now is now I'm going to hover to one location or to the right or to the left or up and down and I have these little commands that show up um, point to the right point to the left I'm not going too far uh, when I go uh, there's where my mouse center is. Now when I go even further to the right, notice that I'm going to uh, see the right view. And I can do the same thing again. Now instead of um, going to the right, I'm going to the top. And I'm going to hover to the top and I'm going to go further. And I can do that uh, and see all of my different views. Now I've got four gestures by default. What I would like to do is make eight gestures and so I'm going to go my, come to my customize menu mouse gestures and enable mouse gestures should be on by default I'm going to choose eight gestures I'm going to click OK and now I'm going to right click in empty space I'm right clicking and holding and now when I hover slightly to one direction top bottom uh, three o'clock eleven o'clock one o'clock five o'clock whatever it might be I have different icons and so I have my views and then I also have a few more I've got a zoom to and so now I'm able to zoom to a, a specific location so another gesture if I'm in my sketch window I'm going to select the plane and I'm going to just move uh, right click and move slightly and notice here at five o'clock I have this what's called a fillet tool um, I don't use that very often, so I want to change my fillet tool that's here in the right uh, bottom right corner of my gesture box. I want to change it to something else. And so let me escape out of my sketch. It's going to give me an error saying discard my changes. I'm going to accept that, discard them. I'm going to come back to my customize menu. I'm going to come and click on mouse gestures. And now I've got two. I've got four columns. I've got part, assembly, drawing, and sketch. Then in my sketch column, I'm going to double click it, and so I have all my gestures, all eight gestures, because I've changed it from four to eight. And I have all my eight gestures. And notice that here at five o'clock, I've got the fill, fillet tool. Well, I don't want the fillet tool there. What I want to do is I want to make a new tool or use a another tool. I should say. I'm not creating the tool. It's called normal or normal two, and as I start typing, um, I've got three tools that use the word normal, and this is the one I want right here. Others normal tool, and I'm going to change this to my five o'clock setting. I'm going to do the same thing for my drawing environment. We haven't been in the drawing environment yet, uh, but that's okay. I'm going to change it right here. I want those two columns to be normal two at the five o'clock. I'm going to accept that. So here we have our box. I had to make a small change. I had to exit and come back in, so it might look slightly different. Um, but what we want to do again is to 
uh, create our sketch, our circular boss, on top of our um, of our box. And so I'm going to click on the sketch. It's once again asking me for a plane. I'm going to choose the top surface, and I'm in my sketch view, but my plane did not rotate. So I'm going to right click uh, and use my mouse gesture, right click and hold, and now I can see that my normal tool button was there. Here it is, right here. And notice if I go in that same gesture twice, it flips it over to the top side to the bottom side, or from the left side to the right side, or the back side to the front side. And I think, actually I'm not sure which uh, view I'm in, so I'm going to cancel my sketch. I'm going to use my mouse gestures, go back to my trimetric view, here we are. I'm going to once again click on my sketch, click on my top plane, click for a circle, and even here I can go into my normal two. And so now I'm drawing a circle normal to my top surface. I could exit the, I can save and exit the sketch by clicking here, but instead I'm going to come to my features tab. I want to have extruded boss slash base, and I see that it's coming out toward me by the kind of the arrowhead, but I don't really see it, and so I'm going to use my gestures again, or hover, and then to the top right corner, or the one o'clock position. Notice how it rotates. Uh, to my trimetric view. And then there's my circular boss, and I can make that whatever length I want. We can make one inch, and I'm going to accept that. And there's my box. And then I can come ahead, come again, and just do the uh, trimetric view, and here we are to, uh, to scale. Thank you for watching. Take care.